In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this loading animation completely from scratch. Let's get started. So to get started, I'm opening up a CodePen project. Right now in my HTML, I just have a head tag and a body tag. So to get started, I'm going to go inside of the body tags of the HTML. And to start off, I'm going to create a div with a class of loading. And so this is the container that will hold all of the loading dots. And then within that div, I'm going to create five other divs, each with a class of loading dot. So each one of these will be a circle on the page. So this is actually all of the HTML that we need for the project and everything else will be completed within the CSS. Now for the CSS, I'm using SCSS as a preprocessor here, which will allow me to declare variables in this way, but I'm also going to use a for loop within the CSS later on. So if you're using CodePen, you can click on this little gear icon on the side, and when the window opens, you can add SCSS as a preprocessor. But within the CSS, I already declared some color variables, and I also added this animation curve. So we will use these variables throughout the project. Then beneath that, I added some basic styling that I add to every project. I like to set the box sizing to border box and a margin and padding set to zero universally. So now with these basic settings defined, I can start applying styling to the project. So beneath this, I'm going to reference the body and I'm going to set the height to 100% of the viewport height. And I'm also going to set the display set to grid. Now, if you're brand new to Grid, I have an entire crash course video that goes over all of the basics. So if you're interested in watching that video, I'll link it in the description below. And with that display set to Grid, I can now justify the content and align the items in the center. Next, I'm going to work on the design for the dots. So I'm going to reference the class of loading dot, and I'm going to set the height and width to 2REM. I'm going to set the border radius to the radius variable. Now to actually see something on the page, for the time being, I'm going to add a background color so we can actually see the loading dots. And then I'm going to change the display of them to inline block, which will make them all go in a row. I'm going to set a margin of 0.5 REM, which will add some spacing around each one. And then I'm going to add an animation. And I'm going to call this animation loading. It will take place in six seconds. It's going to have the animation curve that I defined as a variable. And I want this to play infinitely. So I'm going to add infinite. So next I'm actually going to create this animation called loading. So beneath this, I'm going to write at keyframes and then reference that name of loading. And with keyframe animations, you need to specify how you want the objects to look in one state and then how you want it to look in another state. So the way that I'm going to do this is by adding percentages and then defining how I want it to look at each percentage. So at 0%, I want the background color to be the light color variable. And I'm going to also set the height to 2 REM. At 20%, I want the height to increase to 10 REM. At 40%, I want the height to be 2 REM. At 50%, I want the background color to be the dark color variable, and I want the height to be 2 REM. And that's because between the 40 and the 50%, I want the circle size to remain the same. So I don't want it to grow or shrink, but rather hold its size for this time frame. Then at 70%, I want the height to go back to 10 REM. At 90%, I want the height to go to 2 REM. And then at 100%, I want it to go back to the default state. So back up next to that 0%, I'm going to set it to 100% as well. So now this animation is starting to take shape. However, each dot is animating at the same exact time, but I want it to have a wave kind of effect where there's an animation delay between each dot. So beneath this, I'm going to add that delay. Now, there are multiple ways that you can do this, but the way that I'm going to do it is by adding a for loop with SCSS. So beneath this, I'm going to write at for, 
and then I'm going to add a dollar sign with an I, which basically represents a variable. And then I'm going to write from one through five because we have five loading dots on the page. And for each one, I'm going to write dot loading dot nth child. For each one of these, so I'm going to reference that variable. I'm going to add an animation delay that will take into account which child they are in the sequence. And I'm going to multiply that by 0.2. So the first child will have a 0.2 seconds delay and the second child will have a 0.4 seconds delay and so on. So now we can actually see this animation delay in the project. Now we can see that the dots are moving up and down the page in a particular way and that's because of its native vertical alignment. So going back up under that loading dot, I'm going to set the vertical align to middle. And the last thing I'm going to do is actually remove this background color of red to the default state because we don't need it anymore. So there you go. That's how I created this loading dot animation completely from scratch. Please let me know if you have any questions on the topic and subscribe to stay up to date with my latest content. Thanks for watching.